sold according to gross. Now, Peter has a bit of a problem during this time of year. He can't figure out why there are so many Santa Clauses. So to find out, Peter had a very special rendezvous. Well, I'm kind of confused about Santa Claus. Confused about Santa Claus? This ought to be good. Well, like here we are at Eaton Center, right? Who's the fat guy with the white beard? Santa Claus. What about this guy at Union Station giving out candy canes with a white beard? Who's that? That's Santa Claus, too. What about this guy at Towers in the red suit and white beard? Who's that? That's Santa Claus, too, you dope. Now, come on, we see a Santa Claus here at Towers, we saw one at Union Station, we saw one at Eden Center. They can't all be the real Santa Claus, can they? Oh, boy, how do I explain this so he'll understand? Santa Claus is like a uh, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Santa Claus is like Kentucky Fried Chicken? By Miss Max, I can all explain all to you, Ranger Breath. Kentucky Fried Chicken! Ho, ho, ho! Why is Santa Claus like Kentucky Fried Chicken? Because somewhere there's a Kentucky Fried Chicken headquarters, right? Right. And everywhere you go, there's little Kentucky Fried Chicken stores. Uh -huh. And those are called franchises. Franchises, eh? Every one of them has to be exactly like the original one, because that's what people expect. So what you're telling me then is that every time I see Santa Claus, he's really just a franchise of the original Santa Claus of the North Pole, right? Just think of it as mass marketing. Mass marketing, that's brilliant. Um, now, what's the problem? Well, ever since I was a kid, I always imagined there was just one Santa Claus, and this kind of shatters the illusion. Don't think of it as if you just discovered there was no Santa Claus. Just think of it as if there were thousands of Santa Clauses. Thousands of Santa Clauses, that's brilliant! Uh, don't give us your prize. Give us that. Wonderful. Now with a final look at the streets of Toronto.